That's good right there. 10 ounce patty. Oh my God. Mm. This would be my go-to order if I came to this spot. This right here. Oh yeah. This is America's Best Restaurants. I'm Danielle DeTomo with the ABR Roadshow, and we're in Chicago, Illinois today at a place called Kuma's Corner. And get this, it's heavy metal themed, and they are known for having some of the best burgers. Let's go inside and find out more. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Welcome to Kuma's Corner. I'm gonna join you right here. At the Please bar. do. <laughs> Can I get you a cocktail? Let's do it. Awesome. Okay. We have to talk about this spot. I've already mentioned that heavy metal is the vibe here. That's the first thing you notice when you walk in. Can you explain that to me a little? Yeah, so I mean, this is a heavy metal burger bar. Uh, this this place was created by a heavy, heavy metal fan um, and we, we love the music. So if, when, the first thing you're gonna notice when you walk in is that it is very loud in here. If you ask us to turn it down, we turn it up. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you ever have people come in and they like don't know much about heavy metal and then they like learn about it when they're in here? Oh, all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so every single burger on the menu is named after a heavy metal, a heavy metal band. Oh. Um, so some of them are huge national, international touring bands that have been around forever. Some of them are just local bands that are from Chicago. Yeah, and I gotta ask you, are you a heavy metal person? Yes, okay. yeah. I'm all also right. a musician, I'm in several bands. So you're, <laughs> you're in the right spot? Yes. Well, we got a lot going on here today. Yes. I know we're gonna head into the kitchen, we're gonna meet the owner. So I'll give you a cheers. I can't Thank wait for you to try the food. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited. Thanks for agreeing me and let's get to it. It's time for food. We are with Mike. He is the director of operations and he's gonna be telling us about the dishes today. Let's start with the, which one's being made in the kitchen? The one we're currently working on is the Slayer. It's a award-winning burger uh, that we have. Uh, and it's on a bed of fries with chili, caramelized onions, cherry peppers, um, some beer, uh, Monterey Jack, and scallions on the top. Wait, did you say some beer? Yeah. What do you mean when you say some beer? We, uh, like, we how, cook how it with beer. How does that incorporate in it? We cook, when we're cooking the chili, we cook it with beer. And then anytime we like reheat a brand new batch, then we put more beer in it. So wait, what beer? Uh, it actually, sometimes it changes. Okay, okay, that's really cool. I'm excited to try, because I know like we're getting one made right now, but I believe we're gonna be trying a few more today. So I'm getting a little bit of everything. And you're the director of operations. So we got to learn a little bit about you and kind of your role. So what is your day-to-day -day looking like for the restaurant? Uh, my day-to-day -day is overseeing three restaurants. And Fun. It's bouncing from each one of them. Um, could be doing anything from like menu creating uh, all like the burger of the months me and the executive chef we create all of all that stuff and tinker with those menus um hr maintenance so on and so forth if it's if it's anything that's operating in the restaurant i have to take care of it a little bit of everything yep. you're doing i think that's fun that you get to like create stuff because you kind of like get really creative with that so that's Absolutely. gotta be fun <laughs> Okay, I feel like it's, am I seeing yep. the correct dish behind us ready? Okay, I am. I was like, I see something, I'm not sure. Oh, there's a lot so happening. That's a slayer? There's a lot happening here. And the, the burger's somewhere in the there. The burger is in that. Okay, so I'm going to like get a piece of this and actually try it. Man, y'all getting, they think I'm getting a lot of food out of yeah, this That's a one. big portion. I'll tell you, that's, it's a big portion right there. Oh. Like I said, that's a great one to share with a group of people. That's like an, another form of appetizer. Yeah. But there are a lot of people that come in mm -hmm. and just order for themselves. It's good. Yep, a lot's happening on this plate, but I would probably be one of those people that would have to share. Oh, I'm excited to try more. Okay, thank you so much. No problem, thank you. And we are gonna actually meet the owner now and we trying some more burgers. I'm ready for it, let's do it. 
Joining us now is Ron, the owner of this awesome spot. Ron, first of all, thank you for having us here today. Glad you guys could be here. Thanks yes, for coming. Yes, of course. It. Been a lot of fun. We have more food to talk about now, which I'm excited about. Can you kind of take me through, because I know there's like stories behind some of these dishes sure, too. Sure, so I guess let's start with this one. So that's the famous Kuma burger, the okay. original famous Kuma burger. Uh, bacon, applewood smoked bacon, cheddar cheese, and uh, fried egg on top, lettuce, tomato, and red onion. Oh, and I like that it and comes on the side yeah, too. So you can take it off if you want. You know, so it yeah. was actually in 2015, mm -hmm. the Daily Meal did a top 100 month burgers in the country and the Whoa. Kuma Burger was named number one. Well, I'm really weird and I like burgers like plain kind of, like literally like bacon and cheese and the egg. So I think I'm just gonna keep it at that. Okay. And I'm gonna, ooh, and they got the egg sunny side up and I like that too. So is this, I mean, should I just go for dive it? In. Okay, dive in, why not? Okay, let's this do it. This is my favorite part. That's good right there. 10 ounce patty. Oh my God. Mmm. Yep. This would be my go-to order if I came to this spot. This right here. Oh yeah. You haven't tried the mac and cheese yet. Oh uh, yeah, right? <laughs> I got to that too soon. So, okay, and then we got another burger. So this is the sour vein. Mm -hmm. It's got raspberry aioli, 10 ounce patty, mm -hmm. blackened chicken tenders, bacon, cheddar cheese, uh, a waffle, and syrup, maple syrup. Mm. And that, that actually, mm -hmm. so Chicago Gourmet in 2015 as well, um, Hamburger Hop they did, which is a local burger competition. We won the um, uh, uh, reader's choice for that. Nice. Yeah. I'm getting recognized for, yep. for your burgers here. Absolutely. And then mac and cheese. What, what's happening on this plate? So buffalo chicken oh, with yeah. blue cheese and then our four cheeses that we put in all of our mac and cheese oh. and then scallions on top. Oh, I'm making a mess over here. <laughs> Wait, I love buffalo chicken and mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. I'm literally make, making the biggest mess, but story of my life. I gotta take a bite out of this. This too. is really good. Oh my God. Told How you. do you decide what to order? <laughs> you How do you both. people do it? You gotta get both. Uh, literally, like you just have to get both. I mean, at this point, you just gotta order it all. And then our jalapeno poppers, of mm. course, which is another appetizer. Mm -hmm. um, chorizo cream cheese and jalapeno with a uh, raspberry um, jalapeno jam mm -hmm. to dip. Mm. All right. Food's good. I'm a little speechless at the moment. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Tell me how this spot got started. Sure, so the, the story has to begin with my brother, Mike, who mm -hmm. actually um, founded the concept and developed the recipes and the brand. Um, he was the metalhead of the bunch and started in 05 in Avondale at this location. And for the year, first year and a half, we were a fine dining establishment, uh, but then we changed it to all burgers named after heavy metal bands. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of how it started. And you know, obviously being heavy metal themed, a little bit anti-establishment. Um, so, you know, had a reputation for being ornery and loud metal music, but the food is really what has made it successful, made Kuma successful. Mm -hmm. um, all the food is fresh. Everything is, you know, done in-house. All of our sauces are made in-house. Uh, we have no freezers. We don't freeze any items. So that's kind of how it started. And, mm -hmm. you know, some of the values that we were founded on were being charity um, inclined, community driven. Um, so we support a lot of charities. We usually have a charity of the month or a charity of the quarter. Um, we also support artists. We support bands. We used to feed bands for free when they would come in because most bands are broke. Um, Musician life. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Um, and then we also do things for like veterans and first responders. Um, they get discounted meals when they come in. And then on Veterans Day, all our vets eat for free. That's awesome. So you really are involved with your community yeah here. absolutely and absolutely. we're in it so speaking of you know chicago's huge obviously like right. you have this location but you have a few other locations we do so we have another city location in the west loop which is considered a lot of people say the hottest dining district in the country mm -hmm. and then we have a location out west of the airport um, in schaumburg and then we have another location in Indianapolis. Oh, so, yeah. now was this the original? This is the original, okay. started in 05, yeah. Okay, I yeah. like that. So we're the original first one. I mean, and it was that popular that it literally grew into So there used to be one. three hour waits here. Oh People, they, they'd be lined up down the street here. Uh, Lady Gaga's waited three hours to get in. <laughs> Um, we've had a lot of famous people. Paul Natkin is a famous photographer from 
for musicians and we've got a lot of his work on our walls. Um, he lives actually in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So Kerry King has been in here, um, Brian Slagle's been in here. So a lot of famous uh, metal people for sure. Oh my gosh. Have you met any of these people? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Did Friends you meet Lady Gaga? Uh, I was not here for that. No. All right. I was going to say like yeah. Lady Gaga, I know a lot of her music. So I was like, oh, I would have been all over that. This was a long time ago, like 09, 2009. That is so cool yeah. that yeah, these literally these people are because Chicago brings you know, a lot of people come to Chicago for different reasons. Right, right. So it's like these people with these big names have heard about your spot. Yeah, and a lot of chefs too. A lot of mm -hmm. Chicago chefs come in here. Oh my as well. gosh. So, yeah. Now, as far as, so going back to the heavy metal aspect of it, I'm going to assume like that's in every it one of your restaurants? All, all okay. The, yeah, all the restaurants are heavy metal themed. They all have the same menu. We do burgers of the month every month. So mm -hmm. every month we'll come up with a different burger creation, our chefs and we'll work with a local uh, metal band, come up with a name, that's how we'll name the burger. Um, we'll collaborate with them. A lot of times they'll come in and eat the burger. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a band from out of town, they'll stop in if they're playing a show. Yeah. Uh, and we'll put the burger on, on for that weekend or for the month or whatever. That's so fun that yeah. you incorporate them into like your burgers and stuff. Absolutely. Like it, it's really cool. And I mean, you can't hear the music right now, but like it, when you walk in, it'll be the first thing you notice. Like you got videos playing. For so sure. it's definitely like, it's a whole vibe right. in, in here. If, you just, if you're not a heavy metal fan, you'll become one after you leave here. <laughs> I'll just Absolutely. put it that way, because you'll know all the songs. Really cool spots. It, it's just, it is really, really cool. Like you have to come in here and experience it. Now, as far as if people want to keep up to date, would you just say like your Facebook page is the best place to go? Yeah, Facebook, okay. Instagram, Twitter, okay. for sure. We're on all those. Um, we have our own app if you know for people to order food. We also have our website, of course. Awesome. Um, so yeah, we've got all those available. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, and absolutely. We've thank enjoyed you. it. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Kuma's Corner, right here in Chicago, Illinois, known for their burgers. And I gotta tell you, after trying them, I know why so good. They are one of America's best restaurants. And for the ABR Roadshow, I'm Danielle DeTomo. See y'all next time.